In a small village hidden within the mountains lived a young man named Matthew. Matthew had big dreams and aspirations, but he often found himself tempted to procrastinate and lacked self-discipline. One day, he decided to seek guidance from a wise old man who lived on the outskirts of the village. With determination in his heart, Matthew embarked on a challenging journey up the mountain to meet the master guru. Upon reaching the summit, he found the guru sitting calmly under a large tree. Matthew pleaded with the wise one, Oh, Master Guru, I come to you seeking guidance. My aspirations burn within me, but the shackles of procrastination and lack of self-discipline weigh me down. I implore you to help me. The Guru, with eyes holding wisdom acquired since ancient times, nodded in acknowledgement. He said, Young one, self-discipline is the key that unlocks the door to your true potential. Allow me to tell you a profound story that may illuminate your path. The Guru began to tell the story of two young monks who resided in a temple. He continued, Once upon a time, in the flow of time, two young monks embarked on a quest, daring to meditate for a hundred consecutive days. Their goal was to find inner peace and master the art of discipline, a rare commodity. The first monk, known as Koji, represented unwavering discipline. He greeted every dawn with vigilance, adhered to daily routines strictly, and kept his focus steadfast and unwavering. Meanwhile, the second monk, named Daiki, was vastly different. He struggled with discipline, often tempted by distractions and pleasures. He felt restless and unable to concentrate. As the 100 days of meditation approached their end, the Guru summoned both monks for evaluation. Praising Koji, the Guru remarked that Koji's unwavering discipline had impressed him. Meanwhile, the Guru realized that Daiki's journey was not easy, yet his lack of discipline had provided him with valuable experience. Listen closely, Matthew, the Guru continued. Self-discipline is not about perfection, but about perseverance. Rome wasn't built in a day, and mastering oneself takes time and effort. Remember, every failure is an opportunity to grow and learn. With newfound wisdom, Matthew thanked the Guru and returned to his village with a determination to develop self-discipline and achieve his goals. He embraced every challenge as an opportunity to grow. So, let Matthew's journey and story guide you as you embark on your own journey towards mastering self-discipline. Remember, through perseverance and a willingness to learn from failures, you can achieve your goals. May you find the strength and determination to unlock your true potential. Thank you for clicking on this video. I'm out.